And he's uh, got an opportunity here to bat 20, 20 or so overs. A nice long bat. Just with his last innings before that uh, World Cup qualifiers begin. It's been a good start by Zimbabwe Select, yes, but I think they need to realize that this is a very good batting surface. Oh, that's well played. That's going to run away for four. Just a deft touch from Craig Irvin. Fine of the fielder at 45. Got himself into a good position outside the line of off stump to access that leg side. Just a deaf, deaf touch. Gets it down to the boundary. Slot sweep employed this time. Couple of bounces. Four. That slog sweep takes Zimbabwe 11 with just one run of 200. And it's just the 29th over. Too short of what would be a second century in the series. Yeah, you can. He'll get one. He said push him. Sikandaraz is quick. He gets back and Craig Irvin gets to another list day hundred. He really has had a purple patch in the series. Struggled for runs over the last few months. But certainly now has shown his quality. 150 in the fourth match. He's 100 not out in the fifth. 29 overs gone, 201 for two. The 200 up for Zimbabwe coming in just 29 overs, 201 for two to be exact. This is Craig Evans 100. Just tucked it away and he ran hard, pushing for two. In the magnificent century, he's second of the series. He's done well. Very, very well. Well, this man, Sikanda Raza, straight from the IPL. He would also just need to play himself in, in this last game of this series. Yeah, that's why I guess he's been promoted in that batting order ahead of Sean Williams and Wesley Mathebere. Just to get a good outing, enough overs available to him to set himself. Got... Uh, 20 overs to go after this so it's a fair call because he's been away from home conditions for a while he's playing a lot of cricket away from home as well well this man he has been magnificent today he has played a backing role to Kahia earlier on but then took charge Slightly upish, but uh, to the left of uh, Pereira at short mid wicket. Ah, An innings of class, back to back hundreds, a few lucky shots, but otherwise he's been in control. He started off a little slow, but he took his time. He was playing the uh, second fiddle when Innocent Kaya was going great guns, but 
You can just see with the shot selection that he's in sublime form. He's played it all around the park, tackled the spinners very well. And saw the new ball off, helping the batters to come to play at ease. 13 boundaries and two sixes in that hundred. And more to come. A leading edge again. Mohamed Ali is bowling very well. He's been economical and he's been asking questions. He just feels he wants a bit of luck coming his way. Though he has two wickets, the only wickets to fall. And he's angling it in, Eli. And he's creating those leading edges. Definitely there is. Uh, the good thing to note about Muhammad Ali is that he's been able to pick up wickets from both ends that he's able to utilize in both ends of the wicket. And he's been picking up. He's been doing well of all the seamers that have bowled so far. He's controlled in his action and in his deliveries. Knows exactly what he wants to do and he's getting the ball to do the talking. Good running again, Sikandar Raza is quick. Let's have a look at the two wickets to fall. Gone to Muhammad Ali. First one was Joy Lord Gumbi. A short ball and he had to uh, just get out of the way but couldn't. It was so good, angled in. And this one was caught at mid-wicket. Nissan Kaya trying to charge and couldn't get hold of that. But that ball he bowled to Gumbi surprised him with that bounce and it was coming in.